has been over a year since we have seen Canelo in the ring, and he is not just returning, he is returning against one of the best fighters in all of boxing, and arguably the top 168 pound fighter in the world. I'm here for one reason, and that's to win, whether it's in front of 100,000 people or 1,000 people. The aim is to still be a world champion come Sunday morning. Well, the verdad is que me he enfrentado a muchos peleadores más altos que yo. Eh, tengo la experiencia, sé la sé las cualidades que tiene él, sabe usarlas muy bien. Y es el número uno en, en las 168 libras, así que eh, por algo lo es, ¿no? Entonces sabemos las capacidades, las cualidades que tiene. ¿Qué sientes ahora ya estando en el guapo y estando acá? Eh, haciendo todo esto, entrevistas, eh, lo que se tiene que hacer para los medios. Quiet. Ya sabíamos nosotros que es un peleador muy alto, ¿no? Para eso nos preparamos. Es un peleador difícil. Tuvimos un mes, mes y medio entrenando ya con, con peleadores igual de altos que él. Hay like always entrevistas, y luego entrevistas, y luego otra vez, y luego otra vez, y luego otra vez. The Canelo fight looks a lot different to, to the fight with anyone else. He, he's huge. He's, he's one of the few fighters who cross over. He's known all over the world. So it's a big high profile fight for myself. Opening bell rings. He walks toward you. What would you like to happen? Just, just punch him as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I can end the year with a you know, bang and add my new world title to, to my collection. Hey, Fight Fans, we are here in San Antonio, Texas for the highly anticipated fight between Canelo Alvarez and Callum Smith. The pound for pound number one fighter on the planet back before the year's over. I mean, who isn't excited? The fight of the year for the WBC, WBA, Ring Magazine, 168 pound world championship. I understand I'm the underdog. You know, you look at your social media, people, a lot of people don't really give me a chance in this fight, but I've been here before. I've the underdog in my world title fight and if anything, it gives me a little bit more motivation, a little bit of a point to prove. Vamos a cerrar con broche de oros con un con un gran campeón y y pues uh, hablar ahorita aquí pues no tiene caso, no siempre cuando empieza cuando suena la campana es cuando se ve la realidad y la verdad es que yo siempre salgo a hacer lo mejor y a ganar por cualquier vía. Si se me presenta no lo voy a aprovechar y si no tengo la experiencia necesaria para poder ganar. Thank you. Tomorrow night, two champions will step into the ring to decide who is the kingpin at 168 pounds. And now headed to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the defending champion, Callum. Mundo Smith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the scale, the four division world champion, Canelo Alvarez. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, challenger and champion, Canelo versus Smith. 12 rounds of boxing for the super middleweight championship of the world. Texas has hosted uh, boxing's biggest fight since the sport return, and tonight is no different at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Boxing's biggest star, Canelo Alvarez, facing the best the super middleweight division has to offer in Callum Smith. Callum Smith is the real deal. He's the World Boxing Super Series winner. He is an established WBA champion who has defended his title two times. He is big, he is strong, he is accurate. He's everything you would want in a top fighter. Canelo just said on five weeks' notice, I'll take him, sure, why not? Bring on the best in the 168-pound division. Tonight is going to be Canelo's first fight back since November 2019, and Eddie Reynoso is trainer by his side. Canelo performing for the cameras as he makes his way to his dressing room. Yo, how are you? How are it is your ring, do whatever you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Lo que Just give que me hacer. clean fight. No yeah. más una pelea yeah. limpia. Yeah. Lo único que tengo que añadir. You can only do this in the wrist portion. Yeah, 
And here is the super middleweight champion of the world, fighting the number one star in the sport, going from champion to underdog in one move. A career-changing opportunity, the type of fight that could turn him from UK star to worldwide entity. 15,000 have been allowed here at the Alamo Dome, about 20% of capacity. So we do have that electricity in the building for a world title fight. It's been two years since Callum Smith won the World Boxing Super Series. He has been pleading for this very opportunity. Can he do what no fighter has been able to do since Floyd Mayweather, beat Canelo Alvarez? And you see the crazy height differential there between Callum Smith, a full 6'3", and a 5'8", middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez. We're underway in round number one. Canelo is inching his way in. He's real calm. He wants to take his time. Callum knows that. And that's why he's not committing to that long, strong jab that he has. Yeah, and you know Callum Smith doesn't want to quite engage as he takes a shot there to the head. As you can see, Canelo's trying to close that range for the big hooks. Good defensive work by Canelo Alvarez. He has excellent head movement. Hard right hand there. He is throwing much harder. He really brings the power to this weight class. And Callum Smith is going to have to dig deep. Right now, Callum Smith hasn't found any openings. He hasn't gotten respect from Canelo. Canelo starts to mark up the face of Callum Smith. Round nine scheduled for the championship 12. Canelo goes to work. Uppercut landed as he moves in and some blood now coming from the nose of Callum Smith. Bruising, punishing shots from Canelo Alvarez. Canelo making a statement. By unanimous decision, the pride of all Mexico Me siento muy contento, Smith es un gran peleador y, y pues aquí estamos de regreso. Gracias a toda la gente que pudo estar aquí, gracias por el apoyo incondicional y vamos a seguir haciendo historia. Esta es la, la era del Canelo. He's, he sets little traps so he keeps you thinking constantly and before you know it, he's closed the ground up. That's just with experience and maybe let him close the ground up at times a little bit too easy. But, listen, he's a good fighter, I've got to give him credit. For me, man, I think it was a great fight. You know, Canelo did his thing tonight. He showed everybody that he is the pound for pound king. Hey, who's next? Who's next? I just said, <laughs> I just said that's three now. Champion of the world, El Fucker. I think we did a good job. Y pues es el mejor boxeador del mundo y muy orgulloso de, de tenerlo conmigo entrenando. Todavía joven, sí, ¿eh? Joven, no, mis mejores años vienen. ¿Qué? Ya te dije que si me ganan es porque son mejores que yo me voy a morir en la pinche raya. La pinche raya, pa.